Hello, Geminis here with a general reading for the sign of Geminis. My beautiful friends, welcome to this space. It's wonderful to have you here. And I'm also very happy to be here myself. Um, it has been a couple of weeks since I've um, brought a reading forward for you. And it's my pleasure to, to do that today. I am going to get started, but before I do, I would like to remind you that this is a general reading. It will not fit for everyone because we all come from different backgrounds. We all have different experiences in our past. We've all um, created ourselves or worked with our personal teams and our guidance teams um, to, to um, create little bit different versions of each and every one of us. So I would like to remind you that this is a story that's coming forward for the Gemini people, and I hope that it has um, information here that will help you as you move forward, um, but I can't guarantee that it's going to be for each and every one of you. Um, so let's go ahead and continue. Um, I will shuffle now for the current energy for Gemini. Current energy for Gemini. What is happening currently for the this group of Gemini people? What is happening currently? What is happening currently for this group of Gemini people? All right, and let's look at the next immediate forecast. How will this scenario move, move forward knowing that we're reaching into a general bubble of consciousness that this won't be exactly for each and every one of you um, but hopefully there will be something here that will resonate with you because we are in a general energy so let's look at what the next forecast is for this group what is the next forecast the next phase of this scenario How will this move forward in a general way? Okay, and let's look at guidance as well. All right, let's go ahead and see what's here. See how these really fit. Remember now, before I get started, remember that there will be an extended reading after this reading that will look at the people who are around you and their perspectives. And then we will take this scenario out into the future to see what, um, that, what we might be able to expect and to um, help us plan and um, prepare for um, this general energy. So let's look here with the page of wands. We'll start now with the page of wands. And when we get into the energy of the page of wands, we, we feel a new sense of, um, vitality within us. We have a new youthfulness, Gemini. There is something here that has happened um, in our existence or in our experience that has brought us into a new place in our lives where we're feeling new excitement. We might even feel like we have um, more ability to really handle what's, what's within our existence, that we can handle what's coming towards us, that we have the strength and we have the ability to really step forward now and claim it as our own. Um, I think that you're, this group of people are feeling healthy, you're feeling vibrant, you're feeling ready to take on something, take on the world, take on a project, take on a new um, system or, or take on a new experience, that you're ready for it um, and and you're ready to go. Um, there could even be a little bit of anger here um, as well with the Page of Wands. Not everything with the Page of Wands talks about um, delightful passion. Sometimes it can be true strength that you feel with the Page of Wands. 
Um, the reason why I'm saying that is it's next to the strength energy. And the strength energy is about really learning how to tame and to use and to maintain um, the strength and the vitality that we have within each and every one of us. Because within each and every one of us is a powerful lion, is um, an, an energy center. Um, this is a Leo energy. There's an energy center here that is that is very strong. And it um, is able to really pull us into new situations. It can be used not only to be dampened, not only to be weakened or to be suppressed, this this inner lion, but it can be used to help pull us into the future. It can be, um, you, you can ride on your lion. You can learn how to steer it. You can rely on it. You can ask it to help you if there's a situation that's really challenging you. Um, because what I feel here is a valiant heart center is a very powerful fire, a burning fire within you um, that you are um, with this energy, with this card, you see that this lion is out in front and the person um, attached to the lion is behind. Um, you see that the lion's mouth is closed, but there is a um, an energy within the lion that it could spring forward if it needs to because there's something here that's happening with the Seven of Swords. There's something here that is being... Um, implemented in your life that's a part of your life that's taking something or has taken something away from you, whether it is money, whether it is your energy, whether it is your peace and your sanctuary within your home, um, you have been experiencing something that is about betrayal or is about theft or is about a need to revise something in the way that you're um, thinking about yourself or the way that you're taking action. Remember, this is the sword energy. So this is having the strength of mind, having the perseverance and the tenacity to move forward and make changes in your life and push forward into something that could be um, somewhat painful and difficult for you. So the fact that we have the page of wands here next to the strength energy tells me that you're absolutely able to do something now that you may not have understood before. You might not have had the clarity around it before to move forward in this kind of, in this kind of way. Um, I see that you're leaving some, some swords there. You haven't pulled those swords out and I'm not sure if you're even wanting to pull those swords out. There's two that are still in the ground and maybe those are old opinions that you've had. Maybe those are old beliefs that you've had or old ways of understanding or old ways that you've thought about yourself. Um, that you're leaving stuck there in, in the rocks saying, this is where I used to be. And now I'm moving forward into a new frontier. And I'm going to take these new understandings and these new belief systems and these new methods of thinking um, with me. And um, goodbye to, to what has caused me the pain. Goodbye to what has brought me down um, on my knees with this betrayal because I'm moving forward because I have the strength to do so because I have a fierce inner lion that can help pull me forward. Now, Gemini, we do have the Four of Wands here, and the Four of Wands talks about stability. This talks about bringing stability um, back into your into your life, whether that is in your home life or in your work life, or whether it's um, holistic, um, uh, holistically affecting all parts of your life. Um, this is talking about something that is affecting. Um, the way you feel about your peace and security of your home and the way you feel um, about your own safety and your own protection as you move forward. So I feel like this group of Geminis are working now to reestablish um, a foundation, reestablish um, the um, the information and the belief system and the um, building of what will be your new future, what will be your new foundation. So this is designing it. This is understanding it. This is coming up um, with the terminology for it. As I work to do that, as I'm in this um, card and going deeper into this energy, um, there is some difficulty here in, in, in realizing and understanding how to rebuild oneself when you've been through the Seven of Swords, because the Seven of Swords is all about the way you think. Right. It's about the way you think and the strength of mind. It's not only about the lion. It's not only about how excited you are and how um, the energy that you have It's also about the strength of mind. And if you can overcome um, some sort of um, um, like an ambush or um, uh, um, space violations of your own thoughts and your own feelings um, about the situation. So 
while this is an exciting time for you, I think it's also a victorious time where you can realize now the strength of who you are and you can realize no matter what people do to you that you have the strength of character and you have the strength of mind to make changes, to understand this, to find um, understanding in what's happening and to move forward and to build a stronger, more powerful, more um, an energy that with can withstand stronger winds that can withstand stronger storms, Gemini. So um, this is an energy of a warrior and this is an energy of someone who can um, really make it to the finish line. So I'm interested now to see um, what's here in your next immediate incoming future because um, we have cards here that um, I haven't seen either. So it'll be interesting to see what's here, Gemini. You always um, bring excitement to these readings. All right, we start with the magician. So here we go. Higher font. Here we are again. Knight of Wands. Death energy. Two of Wands. Emperor energy and the Hermit energy. All right, let's start here. Let's start with the Emperor energy. This is an energy that I like to start with in the um, next immediate wave. It's a bottom middle um, energy. It's a bottom middle card that I think um, plays a, a, a large part of the bigger story. It's, 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 a, it's an energy that affects all of the other um, storylines here, all of the other parts of this story. When you have the emperor energy, this talks about um, energy of, of really taking control, being the master of your own destiny. Um, of course, we work alongside our spiritual teams. Of course, we have our own belief system and our own guidance systems, but this is um, taking control within those systems to do the best you can do, to be um, the strongest you can be um, and understand what how you work best. Do you work best in structure? Because the emperor does. So there must be something here that you're learning about your own structure and the way that you perform best because the emperor is all about building um, uh, abundance in life. The emperor is about creating structure and having discipline and having the ability to forge ahead. Um, the emperor is a true warrior. He has been in the trenches. He has done um, powerful things in his life. And the fact that he is here again tells me that you're in a space where you are now remembering all the things that you have done in your life that have been difficult. And you're saying to yourself, I can do this. I can be strong. I can sit here and I can do the things that I need to do. I can stand here and do the things I need to do. I can wake up in the morning and do the things I need to do because this is about overcoming with the emperor energy. The emperor energy um, is, is also an energy that it talks about the understanding of how to build, how to design, how to bring um, monetary value um, into a situation, understanding that um, processes and systems and understanding the way we work um, really helps us to be consistent um, in the output that we have. So this is somewhat of a business-like energy, whether this is in your home or in your community or in your workplace or even um, with your own family, there is something here that's helping um, you to be much more structured and almost in a way creating a niche for your own specialty, um, whether that's in being a mother whether that's in being a um, value, uh, being a coworker that um, provides um, to the best of his or her ability, um, provides a service or a talent to the best of his, of his or her own ability, the emperor is here. And this energy is enhancing all of these energies, I feel, um, because this is the strongest um, one of the most strongest, and, and from my perspective in this reading, it's the strongest reading here anyway, energy 
um, that, that, that is part of your story. So this tells me that even though you're an air sign and even though you like to, um, fly around and, and, and really enjoy pursuits of, of knowledge that you also have the ability to be structured and disciplined and really understand how you can, um, bring in the most abundant future for yourself. And this is being seen by the rest of the energies here. So let's start up with the magician energy. The magician energy is an energy of creating. It's an energy of creating um, something for yourself. It's building, it's designing, it's understanding that there are many different ways that we have to be when we're in the magician. I feel um, that recently I have realized that the magician is one of the hardest energies in tarot um, because you, um, just like the emperor and just like the empress, it's learning how to use all of the elements at one time or in, in near vicinities of each other. So you, um, ha it's with the, the magician is most successful when he or she uses, um, a belief system, um, reaching into, um, whatever, um, religion or belief system that he or she has, which will bring guidance and inner strength. Um, also having clarity around what is being done and understanding how exactly to make decisions and being discerning about how to get there um, with the sword energy. Then you have the cup energy, and this is having the belief system, the emotional um, belief system that will help um, you connect into what provides fulfillment and provides an emotional response for your work or whatever you're doing so that you are feeling happy, you are feeling satisfied, you are feeling inspired by the work that you're doing or by whatever you're creating here, whatever you're working with your spiritual team to create with the cup energy. This somehow is fulfilling to you. Somehow it lights up your heart center and it brings happiness into your experience. Um, then we have the pinnacle, which is the energy of um, implementation. It's an energy of money. It's an energy of understanding finance and budgeting. It's an energy of hard work getting up in the morning and stepping forward and doing the things that need to be done. It's an energy of being organized and, and just like the emperor, um, understanding what's necessary to be done today and what can be done tomorrow and what can be done next month. So it's, it's an administrative energy. It is an energy that is often the very backbone of new businesses, of new endeavors, because it takes a lot of, um, it takes a lot of, what's the word I want to use? tenacity and perseverance to really um, carry that coin, um, that pinnacle, um, as the Knight of Pentacles does, or the Queen of Pentacles does, or the King of Pentacles does carry it forward into a situation. It takes a lot of hard work with the pinnacle. Um, and then we have the wands, and this is having passion. This is having excitement and enthusiasm and um, having the the energy, the sparks of energy and the engine, the engine within you to continue forward, even though you might encounter some challenges or some bumps in the roads or some even you might have to walk through water that's way steep and you might have to use um, a different kind of energy. This is having that energy, that willpower, that lion within you to continue forward because you have these four elements. You have the belief of it. You have the guidance system for it. You have the emotion of it. You have the fulfillment that you gain from it. You have the um, willingness to do the work for it. And you have the passion to set forward into it. And that sometimes is why the magician energy um, is, 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 um, it's, it's an energy to be mastered. It's an energy that can be mastered with, with hard work. Um, so we have the two of wands over the top of the Hierophant energy as well. So um, looking at the Hierophant energy here, um, we have um, an understanding now of what a belief system is or what you feel um, where you fit in the world and where you fit into your community and what you believe in. So this is about belief systems. This is about the community and how the community thinks. This is about how you respond to the community. So this is about how a society works and how a society fits together and how you fit within that society with the higher font. Now we have the two of wands energy and the two of wands energy is about understanding that there are a couple of different ways to go here. Um, so you could be in the process of really working to build something and there could be um, a, a couple of different scenarios, a couple of different options here um, for you to really consider. And when we're in this energy, sometimes we feel like we need to rush forward. Sometimes when we're in this 
fiery energies, even if you are a Gemini, you are fast moving as well. Um, and, and so sometimes we feel this pressure to make a decision quickly. Um, but I don't see that you're, I, I see that you are able to take time and really consider um, the, the, pers the perspectives here that you have, the different options that you have, um, the different um, routes that there are. And I see that maybe you have one that you're kind of decided on here, but there's still another one here that you can choose if you wish. And I don't see anyone here pressuring you. So I think this is ultimately your decision on which way you want to go and which choice you want to choose. But it ultimately will need to be made um, at some point in time. I do feel here um, that the emperor is over the, um, the emperor is over the hierophant and the emperor is also over the knight of wands. So with the Knight of Wands, this is a very, um, it's an energy that is full of fire. It's an energy that's full. It's, a, it's an energy that is taking something from you, Gemini. It's something that you will need to continue to be healthy and eat good food and get rest because you're in this very powerful fire energy. Uh, this fire energy is pointed toward the higher font. So there could be something here, Gemini, that you are um, wanting to do. You might be wanting to help people. You might be wanting to um, bring um, some sort of new experience to people. Um, you might um, be wanting to say things that later um, you're, you're wondering why you said it and you might be questioning why you said it, but it is an energy of enthusiasm. It's an energy of someone who really does care. Um, oftentimes the Knight of Wands is, is talked about, um, such as like a player energy or somebody that's in it, it just in and out. Um, I think in this, in this situation, the Knight of Wands is about really having passion for, for life, really caring about other people and wanting to do the best about with other people and having a lot of excitement and enthusiasm and passion for what you believe in. Um, and this is again, um, pointed toward the Hierophant, which is about how you fit in with the community. Um, we have the Emperor over the top of the Hierophant and over the top of the Knight of Wands. So I do see that you are understanding that it is going to be necessary to have some um, um, a sense of structure around how you develop this so that you don't um, just rush into something without understanding what it could mean for you in the long run. The Emperor is usually... Um, able to see down the street. He's able to um, see a, a long-term future and he's able to understand if you're in control and if you have a plan and if you're able to really monitor your behavior and monitor what you say, what you, say um, you can still be in the Knight of Wands and you can still affect the people around you. Um, but, but having a long-term plan and a long-term vision is going to be helpful in the long run because it will help you know exactly how far to step in, how far to help, what exactly to say so that you don't overreach or you don't overhelp or you don't overshare um, with the Knight of Wands. So it is a, this, this, if you notice here, there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of passion here. We have um, four um, fire energies, Gemini, which is passionate. It's excitement. It's powerful movement. Then we have the magician, which is also has a, a fragment of fire um, with it. Uh, we, we also have um, an energy of earth here with the hermit energy. This is a Virgo energy and death energy, which is a, um, a, a the Scorpio energy, the energy of um, endings and new beginnings. So as I move into these more um, calmer energies, we have the hermit, which is talking about um, really coming out of a place of learning, of, of, of deep learning and reflection with the hermit energy. Um, this is coming out in a way where you can be wise and calm and have a sense of um, healing around you, but also be logical and, re and reasonable with yourself. I think the hermit energy is able to really take in information about what has happened to him or her. So this would be you um, going through an experience um, in the past um, and really um, understanding from that past experience uh, how you can move forward in the best way possible. And the way that the hermit does this is by looking at um, the things that you have done in the past and the things that other people have done and how I'm um, looking at all of these um, energies and, and looking at the 
um, cause and effect and the consequences of everything, you can say, you know, from what I've learned of this past experience, I think it might be helpful if I move forward in this way. And this is not really to judge or to blame or to shame, but it's really to look at a situation and say, uh, this is what's happened. And I think because of what's happened here, I've really learned that this might be a better way to go forward. So I like the fact that the emperor is over the knight of wands. And I love the fact that the hermit is over the knight of wands because it, it really shows that there is a wisdom um, in this knight of wands. And it tells me that there is a true um, sense of, of um, it's, there's a true sense here that's pulling you forward. That's, there's a true desire within you to assist or to help build or to help create whatever this community sense is. Um, and I think that's a really beautiful place to be, um, Gemini. It's a really beautiful place to be. And it shows that you have a lot of compassion and you have a valiant inner strength so that you're able to move forward in a really wise way um, where you're really thinking about the future and you're making sure now not to make mistakes um, that maybe you've made in the past or you've seen other people make in the past with the, with the emperor and the hermit energy. I think also you could be inspiring other people. You could be holding the light out for other people and showing people as you walk forward that maybe this life that you have or this choice that you made or this desire you have to help or, or to change the world around you in some way is, is actually something that's helping people is, is something that will help inspire people and encourage them to step forward in their own way that they can, um, make, make some sort of a, um, a, a change in their own communities or a change in the, in the way they walk forward too. So I think in this way, Gemini, you, you could be teaching quite a lot of people and, um, you could be teaching the community, um, ways to move forward um, that could be um, different from what has happened in the past. With the death energy that I see here, it tells me that um, there has been um, some sort of an ending here. And when endings come, uh, there's not a whole lot we can do about that. Um, we can really look at the situation. We can help the ending happen um, if someone has passed away or if an old version of yourself has been forced to um, change because of maybe a decision that someone else made or about maybe this community um, felt a certain way about you or a religious group felt a certain way about you or there was some kind of... Um, decision that was made um, that was an as an organization decision around a workplace um, or or something that's being planned without the within the community whatever it was it could have um, changed something within you and caused you to really take a deep look because we have the hermit over the top of the death energy so this hermit this death energy this ending that we have here really i think had an effect on this hermit and it might have been what caused this hermit to come alive it could have been what initiated this wisdom, uh, this inner knowing, this experience that has changed your life. It could be part of the story. It could be um, this diamond that we see in the middle of the hermit's heart. It could be really um, the locket here um, that is part of this overarching story. And it could be what has um, brought the emperor out in you as well. This, um, this structure and this strength that we see within you. Um, with the death energy, there is a new beginning here. And the death energy always brings a new beginning. Um, sometimes we have to get to, through the ending first before we can get into the new beginning. But I like the fact that the hermit is over top of the death, which tells me that you are coming out in a new, in a new way with this beautiful, empowered energy of passion, of chemistry, of knowing what it is in the world that you would like to do. And now you have this new beginning that's starting out here because you, we see you coming out now in, in with, with a new walk. Um, and, and I think that, um, from this energy that we see here, you are definitely setting forth on a new path or there's element of your path that is ultimately different. So if we look back over the second, um, the second period of time, cause we looked at the current period of time and now we're looking at this, second period of time, step one and step two, we do see you coming forward in some way in the future with, with something here that you're wanting to do to help rebuild or to help build or to help um, fix or to help bring something to fruition here with passion. It's something that you're doing 
quite powerfully, and I think that you are being seen. But first, before that, there is um, a decision here of which way you would like to go and how exactly you would like to build this, um, whatever it is you're building here that has to do with this community or has to do with this belief system or this group of people that are all walking in the same direction with the same belief system. There's something here that you know that will affect this group or this larger energy of, 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 um, a community mindset. And I think you are really understanding this decision is going to affect this in one way or another. Um, and so first comes the decision, I feel. And then secondly comes the movement where you can have this confidence as you move forward. All right, Gemini, um, let's go ahead and look at what the guidance is. Now, when we look at the devil energy, um, the devil energy talks about a, a very difficult time period, uh, a very difficult time period where you've really had to look at um, those energies around you or maybe even within you that could have impacted your journey. Um, the devil energy is something that um, we can use to help um, cleanse ourselves, to help see the truth of a situation. And this situation might very well be a situation that is outside of you, a situation that is not um, of your own making. Nevertheless, with the devil energy, we usually have something that we participate in, whether it is um, a relationship that's unhealthy, we have a role that we've played, or if it is a community action or a community mindset um, no matter what has happened, we have had a role that we've played, uh, and it's up to us now to decide what is our role moving forward. Is our role to um, try to work on this and try to fix this? Is our role to move forward now and to remove ourselves from this? What is our role as we step forward in a new way? I see here with the Two of Pentacles that um, I think um, with the Two of Pentacles in reverse, it tells me that there is a way that just is, is feeling more clear to you. Um, there is a way that um, is, is um, going to fit more with you. And I think as you put both feet on the ground here with the, with the Two of Pentacles, as you can see, only one foot is here on the ground. Um, as you put both feet on the ground um, and as you right yourself and, and feel more empowered in your life with these um, empowerment that we see here um, coming into your future. Let me find these cards again. We have we have you making choices here um, with the Two of Pentacles. I think it's a matter of really um, deciding in what order are you going to do this? In what order will you make this decision? In what order will you determine how best to move forward? I think that um, the choices that you're making here as you create this new life for yourself are um, becoming clear as you look at this energy and as you look at this situation um, with a fresh uh, with a pair of fresh eyes where you're not judging it you're almost looking at it like a doctor would look at it and saying okay this is the situation um, this is the situation outside of me this is a situation that has impacted me and this is a situation within me and once you see those um those see those energies clearly and figure out what has caused it and how you have become um, hurt by it or damaged by it, you can then start to make decisions. Okay, how best should I move forward? Um, should I continue to be in this energy? Should I continue to work with this energy? Should I find myself a new environment? Um, should I find myself a new, um, a new type of life? What is it about this devil energy that has impacted me and how have I been affected by it and how have I contributed to it? Because I do feel here with the Two of Pentacles that there are answers coming and the route is here, the pathway is here if one can just um, see through the fog of it. I'm going to go ahead and clarify now um, some of this devil energy and see if we can get a little bit more information about this. More information about this devil energy. Page of Cups, new inspiration, new new love, new revitalization of the heart center, healing with the Page of Cups. There could even be apologies. There can be explanations. King of Wands, stepping into a situation, um, even though you might be fearful of it, understanding now um, of your value, 
understanding what you can do, what you can do best, and then taking action now to really be in control of your life because you have the power of the King of Wands is a very strong creation energy and you have the power to set, to step your feet forward and make changes. Um, you, you are a very passionate sign, a very empowered sign and your skills with the, with the, with the language that you speak and the way you express yourself, your understanding about, um, how, um, the world works and how everything moves together, your understanding as a Gemini people, and then the passion that you have inside you, um, really can help you move forward and, and recover and, and, um, overcome this toxic energy that's around you. The Page of Cups is here, and this is talking about um, new inspiration. It's talking about um, new freshness and life, feeling young again, feeling love again, feeling inspired again. And this is only fuel. This is only fuel for the King of Wands with this Page of Cups. It's, only, it's almost like buying the premium fuel, buying the best kind of gasoline, um, or, or buying um, the, the most powerful car to help you move forward. It's going to add fuel to your engine and empowerment to your pathway. Um, so I do feel like that's why this Two of Pentacles is in reverse, because now you have a route to go, you have a pathway to go, and now you can step into this um, new beginning because you have seen clarity on what has kept you down, is what has kept you trapped. Um, so this was a little bit of a longer guidance, um, but I think sometimes it's necessary to go into this um, energy that sometimes scares us, but ultimately can bring us the, the most clarity in our lives. So this is a um, beautiful end ending here, Gemini. I hope you're still with me because um, it can be, um, it can be um, difficult to sit through something like this. But those of you who sat through it and those of you who, who have seen um, the victory that can come from it and the, and the success that can come from it. Um, I can see that you have the tenacity and the perseverance to really make this, make this happen for yourself. So congratulations, Gemini. I am going to move to the extended reading now and we'll look at, we'll carry this out into the future. Um, to see what um, we can um, perhaps expect as this moves forward. This can help us plan um, in, in as, you know, knowing that this is still a general reading, the extended readings, but it can help us plan. And then we'll look at the people who are around you and see what their ex perspectives are. So um, with that, I'm going to end this reading. And of course, as always, Gemini, it is always a pleasure to read for you. Thank you. And I wish all of you well.